Okay. Got the six ingredients ready. Demon Heart. Blaze Rod. Potion of Haring 2. Voodoo Protection Poppet. Or, or just Voodoo Poppet. Redstone Soup. Refined Evil. Give that a moment. I guess that with potion particles turned off, it'll just show the slime. Okay. Well, I think the slime is good. Yep. And that gives me two doses of Infernal Animus. Now, I can't just drink that. Th this stuff is, in fact, extremely poisonous. But if I use it with a Rite of Infusion on myself... Infusion! Okay. So, goes to light, sold the world, spirit of everywhere. Infernal Animus. Two internal red circles. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm just going to suck up my summoning circle, and I'm going to make a triple red circle. Just for, just for completeness sake. I am going to need to make more chalk. More ritual chalk. Okay, there we are. Triple red circles. Now, I forget. Did it require any other ingredients? Nope, it's just the... just the thing. Okay, now. Infusion is a very dangerous process. If you do not have an active death protection poppet, it kills you. But I do have... I do have an active death protection poppet. Get out of here, you buggy piece of... So, just need to... Yep, that's Infernal Animus, not Redstone Soup. And then I need to stand in the circle and I need to give it a heart rune. I always forget the heart rune. So yeah, here goes nothing. Wom. I am now infused with the Infernus Animus. I have this lovely little power bar on the side which I can recharge with a certain ritual if it gets slow. I don't think that drains over time. I think it only drains when I use my powers because I have new powers now. See, if I take a Witch's Hand, I can now enslave lower animals. Uh, the baseline monsters like spiders and stuff. And if I enslave them, I can then sacrifice them and gain a measure of their powers. I can only have one sacrifice at a time, but I can change it at any time just by finding a monster. So actually, I think, yeah, I have a bat egg. That looks like it would be the most useful. Let's just get down here so that... Oh. Yeah, screw it. Okay, so... I release him, and then I have to find... Come back here, you. I have to shift, right-click on him. If I can reach him. There, that's enthralled him. No? Oh, I shouldn't have done this in a black area. Okay, left click a mob to order all nearby enthralled mobs to attack it. Left click while sneaking. Ah, left click. Derp. Okay. Now he's enthralled. He should follow me around. And then, if I sneak left-click again, I should steal his power. It would help if you held still. Ugh, these potion particles. There is a reason I turned them off. There. Now you see I have a bat bar. Na -na 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 -na. Oh, and I get well a bat. Neat. Okay, and I think... I'm not sure if that should drain on its own or if that's just an indicator. Anyway, I should be now able to... Yeah! I can... I can Omni-jump. 
It's cheap ass flight, but permanent. And there's tons of others, like squids allow you to swim faster in water and grant you water breathing, and and a bunch of mobs do a bunch of things, okay? This is just a kind of utility brew that allows me to to steal powers. Oh, and I see, I can hold down jump. Neat. And uh, no, I wouldn't normally be immune to fall damage. I would have to hold shift to make myself immune to fall damage, but... I have no fall damage anyway, so this is a really good version of flight. So, being infused also grants you a couple of other perks that are just kind of like, uh, witches will recognize you as more powerful. I think you need it for, like, I think you need to be infused to summon the final boss of witchery or something. I don't know. Anyway, this is just really cool. Okay. So, that should have done that quest. Yeah, see, and now it's it's all kind of crunched down into that one path. Next, it would want me to... Oh, well, it wants me to kill an Ent. Okay, well, I've done that before, but I mean, uh, fine. Yes, I souped up the axe of the stream a little bit because I've been using it to farm the smaller trees. Just because that fast leaf decay is the frickin' truth. But you see, it's still so much slower. Well, it's doing all four, so... Really? That didn't piss off an Ent? Maybe they learned their lesson. Well, let's keep provoking them. Really? Why are the Ents so chilled today? It's not even 420. What are they doing? Do you think that maybe they don't recognize the axe of the stream? Yeah, it must be that they don't recognize the axe of the stream, because they should have come out by now. So let's just get the proper axe. Hey, Ents! Nature sucks! Come at me, bro. I'm in your forest, chopping your trees. Okay, what is the freaking deal? <sighs> maybe... Maybe it doesn't work in a magical forest biome. Maybe, maybe like, Entrate is biome-dependent and Magical Forest doesn't have a setting and it's screwing them up or something. Oh, yeah. Fire Immunity plus Ember Moss equals amusing particle spam. Okay, so um, I guess I'll have to get away from my base for a little bit and we'll try that again. Huh. Ah, there's one. Okay. Whew. I was getting afraid. So yeah, my best hypothesis is that it just... Oh wow, look at him. He gets all janky. You are... Turbo Tree? Oh man. You would be good at parties. Yeah, like, like put some glow sticks in those hands. Ha! <laughs> Entrave! Okay, that's enough fun. So yeah, my best guess is that it didn't like the magical forest biome. So I guess if you want to make a completely safe witchery tree farm, um, terraform it to a magical forest. That's, that's interesting. At least that's my hypothesis. Just a hypothesis. Haven't confirmed it to theory yet. We'll need bulk scale testing to to get that as strong as a theory. Okay, so... Ent killed, and now it's... Uh, yeah, I imagine. Ent twig, and I need to make a mystic unguent. Let's see, that is redstone soup, rowan sapling, potion of strength, and that looks extended. Creeper heart, diamond, demon blood. Only thing I need to craft is that extended potion of strength. Which is not at all hard. 
I will be back in a minute. So after doing a little bit of testing, it turns out that these graspers have a pretty good range. I, uh, I made some more. So I don't need them in my inner circle at all. I can just have them out here where it's safe and I can, and you know, never worry about them. So I'm summoning another demon because I'd like to try out this Devil's Tongue Charm. It turned out to, uh, to be a quest to craft one of those. They're relatively simple to make, it's just... I, I had to make another Polynesia charm, and that was pretty much the hardest part of it. Anyway. A dupe. Binding dome. And then summon the demon. There we go. So if I hold this in my hand, he should be somewhat friendlier. Yeah, he still gets up in my personal space, but he's not hes not actively trying to be rude. So, he wants some... Um, seriously? Ugh. So, he wants some diamonds. Oh, redstone soup, that's a good deal. So some diamonds and emeralds, okay. And I thought these demon. I guess they only take damage when I do the deal. So I'm gonna need a bunch of emeralds and a bunch of diamonds. Make sure to hold that in my hand. Dude, are you, are you like sneezing or something? Oh, look at that. Look at that. What? Oh, I see. I ran out of Devil's Tongue. I see what the problem is. Okay. Yeah, okay. But you saw that until it ran out, I was able to just keep on buying them. So... Let's let's pay a little bit more attention to our devil's charm down here. So I buy one. That did nothing. That did nothing. I don't see any durability on it. Huh. Oh no, there it is. It suddenly took all the damage at once, I guess. Oh, well, you know what? I'm going to see if I can game the system there. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of emeralds and I'm gonna see if I can buy a whole bunch of redstone soup in bulk before he gets pissed off. Gonna have my special knife here just in case. Okay. Well, guess not. Still, that was especially profitable. New position for the grafter for the grass first turns out to be good. He can't shoot through obsidian. So I have a summoning circle that's about as safe for demons as it can be. I am tough enough to just tank them. Okay, back to work. Okay, I have the ingredients, and this is a ritual that must be performed at night. I don't really feel like waiting, so let's do something a bit fun. Let's go over to my blood magic area. And I'm going to make an imperfect ritual stone. This thing is what I mentioned a little bit earlier. It's made with just really basic stuff. It can even be made with the weak blood orb. Just any blood orb, smooth stone, and obsidian. And this is used for some really simple rituals. The one I'm going to use it for, I'm just going to need a lapis block. Yeah, that's literally it. And I think I need my activation crystal. So, this 
device, which I think I'll put in my witchery area, just because the witchery area is the one thing I need nighttime for sometimes. Eh, put it next to this coffin. So I put down the imperfect stone, I put down the lapis stone, and then if I give it a boop, lightning strike and it becomes night instantly. Neat, huh? So, Mystic Unguent, Ent Twig, Nighttime, oh, circles, need the correct circles. It requires two um, white circles, so I'll just take out my triple white. Yes, forgot the circles, how silly. Okay, and then I take triple ritual. Now we do this. Okay, the mystic branch. This thing is kind of a it's the archetypal magical wand. If you hold it in your hand and you hold down right click, then it like it draws out these patterns and there's certain patterns that you can do for spells. Like so let me let me look up the list here. So like if I do the combo of up up right right down, I can create a thing that uh, oh dear, that was I wasn't expecting that to be a projectile. But you saw there that uh, I made a projectile that shot water. Um, yeah. That was a little bit unnecessarily destructive. It's a good thing all the red crystal is sealed up behind that wall. And... Uh... I can heal myself at the at the cost of hunger. I can, I can cause a tiny bit of damage. Uh, oh, that looks fun. Left, up, up, down, down. Left, up, up, down, down. Yep, I can start fires. There's all tons of little effects. But you see that it's kind of slow to use. Like, I bet I could practice and memorize the effects and, and get, like, really fast with it. But... Yeah, that's about as fast as I can go. So it's, it's kind of just a fun thing to play with, but not really a useful tool, I don't think. Anyway, that was a quest. And that gives me a potion of regeneration. Very neat. Ah, next up. It wants me to go to the spirit world. The spirit world... Well, actually, that, that'll that be a good use of the waiting time between episodes. Because the spirit world is kind of a... It's a clone of the regular world. Except, I believe that it actually has proper ores for me to dig up. And there are some potions that I can only brew in the spirit world. But the problem is, when I go to the spirit world, only a couple special items will come with me. For the most part, I will be on my own. Like, I think I'll keep my infusion power. And I think I keep any baubles I'm wearing, so I'll still have all those. But I think that's a bug. And I think, actually, if I were to be wearing a, uh, a Tinker's Knapsack, then I could keep items in that. But that is a bug, and I would consider that cheating. The baubles are borderline. I, I'll, I'll, I'll allow the baubles, but... Outright carrying items with me, that would be cheating until I, I can do it legit on the other end. You know, with like an ender chest or something. So, I need to make that brew of sleeping. To do that, I need purified milk, whiff of magic, icy needle, water artichoke, cookie. Those are easy. Brew of love. Ah, okay. So, golden carrot, poppy. Whiff of magic. I don't have any poppies. I need to grow some poppies. Remember, as always, that you can get the flower itself by harvesting with shears. 
poppies. Hmm. Okay, that purified milk can... I can actually auto-craft that, I think. Because I have some odor of purity in storage. So... Oops. Oh dear. <laughs> Time for some more interfaces. Note that every time you increase the number of molecular assemblers on your gigantic wall of stuff, you want to put five acceleration cards in each one so that you have maximized crafting speed. Just like so. Oh, and uh, if you're wondering why the white cables leading into this are such a mess, it's because the internal cabling between the molecular assemblers and the IMI interfaces, it only carries eight channels at a time. So, like, in order to path around and find, you know, a maximum of eight connections at each time, I just, like, put a bunch of dense cable on it. So, like, uh, this one... There's, there's two channels here, so it's like it's these two connecting, and then presumably there's there's like three more connecting to this one and stuff like that. It, it just paths around and it gets them all connected. Anyway, now we have much more molecular assembler space kind of spread randomly throughout. Okay, got me those brews of love. I got a couple of these before, but I kind of accidentally threw them out. Anyway, I think what these do is they cause all animals in their splash radius to, uh, yeah. Yep. So if I had a animal population with a difficult food, I could, I could breed them up with potions of love. Or if I just had a big tank of animals that I didn't want to feed each one individually. It's kind of fun getting around like this. Okay, here we go. Brew of love, purified milk, cookies, water artichoke, icy needle, and a whiff of magic. And that should make these brews of sleeping. Yes, three at a time. Now I'm just gonna make two recipes worth because I had the supplies on hand. What these will do is if I drink one, my physical body will go to sleep, and my spiritual body will be astrally projected out into the spirit world. And, like I said, I will only be able to keep a limited number of items with me. Um, icy needles will go with me, and I think that's it. I think that's the only thing I have that I could use at the moment. So let's just uh, get up on our, our nice little comfy little place here. And uh, let's let's just go. Now, anytime you go into the spirit realm, there's a chance that you'll get a pleasant dream and a chance that you will get a nightmare. And right now, the probability is pretty extreme that I will get a nightmare. Oh, this is what is this? Ah, yep, I'm in a nightmare. This guy is going to follow me, but fortunately, I am still infused. So let's... And he can't fly, despite his appearance. Oh, but he can climb, apparently. Okay, so let's let's catch our bearings here. Oh, wow, this is dark. <laughs> I can kill you. Actually, I think nightmares are something I want to kill eventually. Anyway, let's, um, I'm just going to run away from him and I'm going to search for some items that I need. But yeah, you see, I kept my infusion and I still have my magnet on. Oh. And it's not a huge deal if I die. I will just end up back in my physical body. 
I can also get out of here by using those icy needles that came with me. Mm. But yeah, before I start setting up an... In nope. And that's another thing. Eventually those nightmares teleport to you. Come on, where's Wispy Cotton? Of course, I can't really see very well. I'm so used to night vision. <laughs> And I'm so used to being freaking invincible. I feel naked. I am naked. Ugh. There's some wispy cotton. Of course, because I'm in a nightmare, it's not wispy cotton. It it uh, uproots as disturbed cotton. But I'm going to have to get a little bit of that gathered up. Because I'm going to need it in order to make some dream catchers to give me a better chance of a pleasant dream. So let's see if I can find any before I die to something. Oh, listen to that. It sounds like the witch poisoned my nightmare. Oh, and yeah, if I kill that guy... He will drop a rare thing called Mellifluous Hunger, which I'm going to need for a couple of things. But um, for the most part, he will he will just respawn after a couple of seconds. So when you're in the nightmare, you're constantly chased by those things. And I think that eventually I'm going to try and get some means of night vision in the spirit realm so you guys can get a better look at him. Because they are actually pretty cool looking. And yeah, note all these saplings around here. You hear that when I run around, I occasionally get grass noises instead of footstep noises. There's grass everywhere. There's saplings planted everywhere. It's a little bit... It's it, Despite being a hell world nightmare, it's still more pleasant than the real world. Okay, that's probably enough disturbed cotton. Let's poke ourselves out of here. And yep, all of our inventory is back, and we kept the disturbed cotton, but nothing else. So, the big thing is, once I am in the spirit world, um, the, the thing that... Brew of the brew of flowing spirit is a pretty useful thing, and it can only be brewed in the spirit world. So I'm gonna have to run around, I'm gonna have to gather up mutandus, find sources of uh, sources of iron, and I think in the spirit world there is actually iron ore that you can dig up. And I'm gonna have to like get these mutandus plants. I'm gonna have to crossbreed some mandrakes. I'm gonna have to hunt some bats. I'm going to have to make a spinning wheel to get this wispy cotton. So yeah, I have some work to do in there. Anyway, that was a couple of quests. So I have my brew sleeping. Oh, it won. Why didn't it register that? Okay, good thing I brewed extra. Who knows, maybe I'll get a pleasant dream. It's still like a 1 in 10 chance. Hey, oh, nope. That was, that was just... So it looks like with night vision, this place has this green glow. That's neat. Okay, let's get to the higher ground and... Oh, I need to make a quest book in here. Huh. So for that, I need to find some charcoal. And I need to find some wood. And... I need a couple pieces of wood. I 
There we go. Quest book. Now I'm in the spirit world and it's all done. Okay. Okay, back to reality. So, in order to use this disturbed cotton to make a dream catcher, um, which I need to do the, the tormented twine for, I need to make a spinning wheel. You see, it's just a bunch of simple items. I think I'm actually going to cook that up in the ME net. So, first I need to tell it how to make item frames. Simple enough. And all the rest of the stuff it already knows how to uh, Okay, that's the recipe encoded. But you know what? I imagine it's a crafting task. Yeah, it is. Okay. That's no problem. Spinning wheel. This is a lot like the spinning wheel from Witching Gadgets. What is it with witches and spinning wheels? Anyway, just put that on over here. It uses a little bit of altar power and some items in order to process threads. So I'm going to need the disturbed cotton. I'm going to need some regular string and a reek of misfortune. And that is divisible by four, so just need to do that. OK. Reek. Oh wow, that's okay. And if I load that up, yep, it it animates. It is a magical spinning wheel that spins for me. Oh, and now I have a quest to make the uh, the witching clothes. Oh, and that, uh, that actually unlocks a quest elsewhere. So let's see, witch's robe and witch's hat. Uh, that stuff will increase the amount of potion bottles I can pull out of a cauldron when I make brews. Anyway. So that's going to require that golden thread and impregnated leather. Uh, impregnated leather is relatively easy. Golden thread is fairly easy. Okay, that's all stuff I can do. But in the meantime, let's take this tormented twine and it wants me to make a dream weaver of nightmares. Despite the name, it prevents nightmares. Okay, that's going to require a splash potion of night vision, splash potion of poison, and just some stuff. Okay, BRB. Here's a fun little thing. You notice that my infusion bar over there is missing a couple of ticks just off of its top. I'm not sure if that happens whenever I use my bat power or if it's just happening over time. But anyway, if you take a 45 second potion of regeneration and you stand in the center, of two white circles. Yep, you notice it recharges. And I think that will keep on going forever. And I can just stand in there and recharge it, but it constantly takes 40 altar power per second, though the altar charges faster than that. But anyway, that will be constantly going, and anytime I need a charge, I can just hop on over it. But of course, this is my main ritual circle. I don't want that to. Uh, yeah, that that would be that would be kind of lame. So actually, I think what I'm gonna do uh, 
Okay. Let's pick this up. Now, let's draw an entirely new circle. Bind that into another one of these things just so I can pick it up and move it. Okay. I think I'll just have this right here. Dupe. Yep. And I'll go make another potion of regeneration. And I'll just have that right there as my recharge point for when I need more infusion power. So I don't think I don't need graspers, I can just dupe. There it goes, it's sparking up. And then whenever I stand in here, I can recharge. Witch's hat. Witch's robes. Need a creeper heart for that. Uh, crap. I don't have creeper hearts on autocraft. Easy fix. Uh, uh, creeper heart. Of course. How could I not guess that? Witch's robes. Mm, creepers will ignore the wearer. Okay, let's try this on. <laughs> okay, that's it's actually kind of cute. Yeah. Don't really like the robe. Well, maybe I, I can't see all the robe because... Yeah, it kind of goes under my... Okay. Well, that's... Uh, <laughs> that's interesting. Okay, so that was a quest. Gives me more creeper hearts and string. Okay, Dream Weaver of Nightmares. If I put this down somewhere relatively close to the bed I'm sleeping in, like say right here, or just anywhere close to where I'm drinking the potion, I should be able to have a higher chance of getting a pleasant dream when I go to sleep. And yeah, now it wants me to get proper wispy cotton just to prove it. But you know what? Before I do that, why don't we round off the episode by getting a familiar? Yes. So, let's see here. That is a quest in the Circle Magic. Changes. More than just a pet. Let's make it that odor of purity. Okay. And that's just all the ingredients. So, in order to get a familiar, I'm going to have to get a certain animal within the circle here. I'm going to have to get all those ingredients around it, and then I'm going to have to perform the ritual. And that will bind the familiar to me and give me another perk, and also it will make coven witches recognize me as one of their own. And I think the familiar I would like is an owl. I've mentioned it before, but they make brooms more agile. So, in order to get an owl, I'm going to have to use the mutating sprig. And I'm also going to have to use those critter snares. To make owls, I'm going to need to mutate bats. And you remember that wrath crystal I got? Yep, making another wrath cage. You see it's a pretty dang big infusion, and I think it's one of the most unstable infusions in the pack. Uh, disregarding really advanced enchantments. Anyway, it's just a bunch of jars, a bunch of diamonds, a bunch of these wrath shards, which you get by killing enemies using more damage than is necessary in the nether. Or at least I think so. You, you get it just from killing stuff in the nether, okay? Anyway. Okay. Got a small box. Arcane furnace. Loaded it up with feathers and therefore volatus. 
One side, unfiltered tube leading into a jar of air, just void it. Other side, a filtered Essentia tube that's programmed to Velatus. Inside, got a nice little room here. Seal it in. And I'm going to put down these critter snares. I'm going to try and capture some bats. Okay. I hear squeaking. Did I build the room too small? Okay, get in there. Get in there. Got one. And yep, I can just pick that up. So I'm going to need, like, about four of them. I should have brought a lever. Eh, I'll make some extra owls just in case. I should have brought my Arthana so I can get more of bat. Okay, that's an easy fix. Okay, got all the snares full. Now I'm just going to kill bats until it runs out of Essentia. Got the trap bats. Got a cobweb over still water. Got graspers on the side with three mutandus extremists and one attuned stone that has been charged. I should be able to put a dog in the center, a wolf or a dog in the center, and that should make some owls. So let us go. Let that sink in just to be sure. Okay, oof, boosh, boosh, there. Now, not that they all kind of flew away from me, but they can be tamed. I just kind of have to get up to them and let them... I have some raw beef here. Hello, hello, yes. Are you tame? Do you, do you run away if I put that away? Oh, look at that. And now I need to find you a mat, a mate. Okay, come on. They're kind of like cats. You have to let them come to you. Hey, come here, little guy. Come on. Come on. Come here. It's okay. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I don't think he's tame. Come here. <sighs> Looks like they path to trees and try to sit down in them. There you go. Oop, oop. There you go. Nope, nope. It's okay, little guy. Come on. You come back here. You will love me. Well, I think that failed and I'm out of raw beef. So... We'll just let him kind of be free until I can tame him. Anyway, we do have one properly tamed owl. I was hoping to get two to breed them. Yeah, this guy, I think I can sneak, click. Nope. nope. What the heck? Um. Okay, you have fun with that. Is it because he came down in a ritual circle? Is that locking him in place? Well, anyway, I'm just going to take that as uh, the bit of good luck that it is, and I'm going to bind him as a familiar. Tear the goddess Otis of Order of Purity with a magic diamond and a demonic blood. Okay, so. Tear the goddess. 
demon blood. Odor of purity. Whiff of magic. And a diamond. And I think we have the circles all right. Yep, it's just a white circle. Okay, let's get you into the center just to be extra shovel sure. Oh. Al Travis. I have to give you a better name than that. Whoa. What? What? I I I just sneak right clicked on him and and what? Oh, that dismissed him. Okay, I, I, I guess that... Well, there's a ritual to bring back a dismissed familiar. I guess that would be under summoning. Breath of Goddess, Hint of Rebirth, Width of Magic. Yeah, so don't sneak right-click on your familiar. No. Breath of the Goddess, not Tear of the Goddess. That's better. Uh, sorry about that. I didn't mean it. So, you follow me, right? Oh no, I just right-clicked on you and I guess... Yeah, legs apart. Okay, so when your legs are in like that, do you... You should follow him. What? What the? What? What? I, okay. Um. You have fun with that. Anyway, let's see how cool my broom is now. Oh, it's definitely. Oh God, it is definitely faster. It's maybe a little bit more agile. <laughs> Oh god. I think I read somewhere that it must be the infused brew of, of soaring that lets you strafe, but oh jeez. Oh this is maybe a bit too fast. Oh god. Oh dear. Well, I think that's a good place to stop for today. Between episodes, I'll try and capture those owls and breed up a few and, you know, try some things. And I will go into the spirit world and I will try and set up a base there. And I will be doing that while our blood fills. Yep, the, the main network is full, but it still needs to fill up about twice more in order to get that full 15 million. It's going to be a while. See you then.